Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline. If you're new here, I'll leave a link to my, it's over here, to my intro video so you can figure out, find out a little bit more about me. Um, but today I'm going to take you through how I mat and ship my um, prints for my shop. So if you don't know, I'm a photographer. I take landscape and nature pictures and I sell all my prints on an Etsy shop. I'll leave links to it down below. Um, so I just figured it would be helpful for anyone who is trying to mat prints or if you're trying to ship something flat. Um, I know when I was starting out my shop, I had a really hard time figuring out um, how I wanted to ship these prints so they didn't get bent or damaged on the way to my customers. So I figured I would show you that today. So let's get started. So first of all, I just want to show you my desk. This is where I work. So I have a few prints up on my wall. I have a nice big workspace that I can either put my computer on or um, or make do my prints on and stuff. So I just have some books and stuff over there, my camera. So this is my workspace. So I'm going to get set up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what everything you're going to need to match your prints. So I usually like to have an extra piece of scrap paper, some scissors. This is archival tape. So it's acid free. It won't like yellow or damage your prints. Um, a mat obviously so I bought these off Amazon they come in um, a big set so you get um, you get the mat and the backing um, and you get silicone bags for shipping as well and then obviously whatever you're going to print so the first thing I like to do is obviously make sure my workspace is nice and clean and that there's nothing on it so I don't get anything on the mat so then you're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to tell which sides the front because there's gonna be a bevel so that's what that little um, angle right here is. That's the bevel of the mat. So that's going to go on the front. So you're going to turn that over. And so I like to mat according to this picture. So that picture, this picture is obviously a landscape picture. So I want the mat to come this way. It doesn't really matter whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, so line these up. If there are different heights, I like to put another piece of cardboard underneath it or something just so they don't um, miss a line. You want them to be really nice and lined up. Okay, so then I'm going to take my archival tape. Oops. It's kind of stringy and falls apart sometimes, but it's fine. It works really, really well though. So I'm going to take two pretty decent sized pieces. This is just like duct tape. You just rip it right off. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to take two. They're a couple inches piece, size pieces. They don't need to be perfect. Um, they can kind of just be like this size and they'll be fine. So these, um, you lick the sticky side to make it sticky. So I'm just going to lick that. And then make sure this is really nice and lined up. Okay, sorry guys, the camera fell. So. I got my first piece on there. I'm gonna lift my second piece. Put that right on there. Make sure you really saturate those. You can also just use like water in a cup. And then I like to flip it over and really make sure those edges are lined up. Stick it down really nice and well. So that way when you pick it up, everything is nice and lined. There's no gaps or anything. So it's gonna look something like that. So then I like to open it up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make little corners for my pictures. If you're, um, if you're framing your or matting your own picture and you don't, you know you're not going to remove it, you can just stick this with archival tape right to the mat. You don't need to worry about this. But for me and my customers, I want to make sure that if they just want to take the mat off, off, or if they want to put a different mat on it, they can take the image out. So that way. Um, it doesn't damage the print. So I just made a little squares of paper like this. I'm just gonna fold them, so you can see this, fold them into little corners like this. So they don't need to be perfect. Um, I also like to tape these sometimes in case they're with just like plain old scotch tape. So I like to make these little teeny corners, cut off the excess and just give them a teeny little bit of tape so they stay together. And like I said, this is just to protect the print in case someone wants to take it off later. So I'm going to do four of those. 
exactly the same way. It's a little corner. A little bit of tape and cut off the excess. I don't like to make these too big because I don't want them to obviously um, be seen through the mat. You don't want them too big. But just enough so that way you can tape down your print without damaging it. And obviously you can cut your own mats if you have the tools to do that. I cut my own mats in college for prints, um, but you definitely need more tools and more space to do so. So um, I found it pretty cheap to buy these mats off Amazon. I'll link everything I'm using down below. Um, I just found it easier and cheaper to do it that way than trying to buy all the equipment. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put these little corners on my print. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna put, pop these on. Okay. And then before I line up my print, I like to once again, get my archival tape, tear off a few little sections. These can be even smaller than your first one. So I usually just make them like that big and just get four of those, obviously one for each corner. So then for me, this is the trickiest part. So I'm gonna flip this back over and just kind of eyeball it, make sure this is in a good spot. Make sure nothing's showing out the corners. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna open it back up and then take my corners again with these and stick this down, trying not to move the print. So I usually like to do one top corner and then the opposite bottom corner. So that way I know that the bottom and the top have not moved and then I can just do my last two corners. Okay, so that looks good. So I just like to double check it, make sure when I pull over that, so it look, that's what the finished product looks like. So like I said, this print then can be, if someone doesn't want it in the mat, you just can lift it right up. And if you decide you want to put it back in the mat, you can just stick it right back in. No harm, no foul, nothing's damaged. Um, so that's the reason I like to use the corners and stuff. So that is the finished matting process. So I'm going to grab my supplies now to pack this all up. Okay. Okay, so this is everything I used to pack. I have two pieces of cardboard. I did these pre-cut. I cut all my cardboard to be about half an inch on either side of the mat. So that we have a little extra wiggle room um, depending on how big it is. So that's already pre-cut. I have my silicone little baggie and um, my tape. So normally I would have like a little note, my shipping info and all that stuff also inside this silicone bag. So I just like to pop that in there. Like I said, this comes with the matte set that I bought. So it's a really nice little touch. Obviously you would tear that off and tape it down. For this, I'm just gonna get a little piece of scotch tape so I can reuse the bag. Um, down. All right, sorry guys, they were mowing our lawn outside, so I had to stop for a second. So I just taped up my little silicone bag, and usually I would put um, like a little note, my shipping info, all that stuff inside of it. So then I'm going to take my pieces of cardboard, lay this right in the middle, and then just sandwich it together. Really simple and easy. And because I picked a pretty thick cardboard, I just reused, I think this was an Amazon box, so I just reused some cardboard. Um, because this is such thick plastic and you already have the mat in there, or 
cardboard and yarded mat in there. It really doesn't bend and break. I've never had any issues. Um, and then you're just gonna do what you would expect. So you're just gonna take some tape and then tape down all four sides. So I really like to make sure it gets really nice and sandwiched in there, really nice and tight. That way, so that way I know the shit, the print will be safe, and I'll get to my customer nice and safely. So if you can see that. I'm just taping up all four sides. I hate when this happens. I lost the end. Got it back. So yeah, I really get them nice and sandwiched tight and then fold that over nice and tight. So it really stays together. like in the end as you can see it's really nice you can't really bend it I've never had issues with customers complaining that their print got to them bent um, so yeah that is how I would ship them obviously put the shipping label and stuff right on there um, I've never had a problem either with um, USPS shipping these so that's how I ship mine um, and yeah that's it all right well I hope you found that fun and informative uh, if you have any questions about the processes or shipping or matting or anything like that, please leave them down below and I'll try to get to all of them. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye!